Hello friends, welcome to Cards by TLC. My name is Tammy Savello and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator out of the San Francisco Bay Area. Whether you are joining me for the first time or returning, welcome. If this is your first time, I'm so happy to have you here. And if you have not yet subscribed yet to my channel, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell to all so you don't miss any of my future lives or pre-recorded videos. Today is Wednesday, May 3rd. Thank you so much for joining me. Normally you are catching me live on Thursdays, but I do have an appointment and would rather you not miss anything this week. Um, so I've decided to do a pre-recorded video for you, but typically I do have my lives every Thursday, um, 11 a.m. Pacific time. So, uh, as you can see, this is a pre-recorded video and I will be doing these uh, more often, so stay tuned for that. But before we get started, let us dive into this brand new 2023-2024 annual catalog. It went live on Tuesday the 2nd. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and need a copy, head over to my site at cardsbytlc.com and hit the catalog request form button and I will be more than happy to get one out in the mail to you. The only thing that I do ask is that if you are working with another Stampin' Up! demonstrator, please reach out to them. Um, they do cost a little money, so I would be more than happy to mail you out a copy. I just ask that you're not working with another demonstrator. So let us dive into today's projects. Today's projects, we are playing with the Fresh as a Daisy Sweet Collection, which can be found on page 110 out of the brand new catalog. And this collection I absolutely love. This is become one of my favorites. It's such a versatile stamp set, or sorry, sweet, not stamp set, but sweet. And I absolutely love this designer paper, the embellishments, the colors that coordinate with that. They are actually, um, I believe, one, two, three, four, all five of the brand new 2023-2025 in color colors. So we will be playing with Moody Mauve today, Wild Wheat. You'll see some uh, Boho Blue in there. So we'll be playing with this today. Um, let me show you what all is in the suite. The suite includes the Cheerful Daisies Bundle, which has the photopolymer stamp set. It has 15 images and this is a two-step stamp set and it cuts um, of these really adorable daisies which fun fact Gerber daisies are one of my summer favorite time flowers it has coordinating dies which not only cut out the outline of the daisies which you'll be seeing today um, but it does different layers of these daisies in which I'll be showing you all this today. So let me go ahead and put this off to the side and we will get started on today's projects. Oops, get that off to the side. So today's project, I am happy to show you this. It was inspired, this layout was inspired by my dear friend Patty Bennett, which she created this super simple layout, I believe back in 2021. Um, but I absolutely loved this layout. It um, uh, cuts your designer paper at an angle and it separates and it you have so many versatile options. Um, so I'm actually going to be linking along with the um, sizes and dimensions will be linked in the description box below um, as well as her video linking back to I think it was back in 2021 that she did this. So thank you Patty for um, inspiring me today on one of today's projects. 
and we will go ahead and get our pieces and dive right in. So as you can see, we are showcasing two of um, the in colors. We are showcasing the Moody Mauve and the Wild Wheat. I absolutely love this. I love the dyes. As you can see, it has fun layers on this. And we will dive in with all the bits and pieces and all the parts. So the first thing I want to show you is this die cut piece. This die cut piece is so awesome. You can break this down. You can take your little paper snips and cut these flowers off and use them individually or you can use them as a whole. And as I said in the um, video at the beginning, uh, it also cuts out whole solid images. And it also actually, let me just show you these little pieces over here. They're on the next card, but it cuts out these top layer parts that fit right over the top of that. So you can just build right up on the daisy. But we'll be showing that one in on the next card but this card we are showing casing this solid daisy image piece and then what i did was i actually trimmed off this little leaf piece and we are going to use it we're just going to use it in a different portion of this um, image but look how cute even that is so those are our pieces here. Let's go ahead and bring in our other pieces and we'll, before we start gluing down our images um, and building up our daisy, let's just go ahead and get the other pieces out of the way. Um, we are starting out with a card base and this card base is cut at four and a quarter by 11, folded at five and a half. It's a top fold um, A2 standard card in the US. And what I, I always love this top fold. I very rarely do a standard um, side fold, but occasionally I'll do that. But my top fold is usually my go-to. So you'll see that in the majority of my videos. This piece is the background piece, or actually this piece is not the background piece. This piece is actually the panel piece that we're going to be using this background piece and what I just realized is I did not cut a 4x4 four four designer piece that we will need in this project so bear with me and I will reach over here and we can cut a new piece I forgot that piece for um, the card itself that we're actually going to be cutting up so you'll see me able to do that here live but we are using the background piece which has the wild wheat um, coloring so this piece is cut at four and a quarter by five and this is a panel piece and all the sizes and dimensions will be on my blog post tomorrow may 4th and you'll be able to get all of that in the meantime just sit back and enjoy the video or you can pause it on the replay i'm so used to doing lives i actually said replay <laughs> so we have a um, inside panel piece this again is cut at four by five and a quarter so I like to always do basic white panel pieces and then I always like to have one little strip of a half inch by four inch strip as well and put that down there And let's get this inside panel piece done. And we're gonna leave this blank because it is gonna be a birthday card, but I wanna see what other sentiment I'm gonna stamp later on. Or I just might just leave it blank. I always like to leave myself lots of room to write such a lovely message to my friends and family who received this card. 
So as you can see, it has a, that full panel piece. So let us bring in our Stampin' Trimmer and my goodness, I am not, I'm off on my A game here today. So we are going to be cutting four inch panel pieces and the piece that we are working with are actually a four by four square. So you can get um, one, two, three, four, five, six, nine cards of this, of this layout on one 12 by 12 inch panel piece. And that is a lot of cards. So that is why I love this card and I'll be showing you some samples here momentarily after we're done with this. And what we're going to do is we're going to kind of cut this at an angle piece, not a diagonal piece. Diagonal piece is corner to corner, but this is kind of at an angle. So it leaves just a little bit of room on the top and a lot more room on the bottom. So there we go. And we have our two pieces that we're going to separate. And I'll show you on another sample that you could actually leave this white and just leave a white background and then stamp your um, sentiment directly onto there. You can use this as a lighter piece. Um, you have so many options. And this pretty much work, this layout works with a lot of different other card, um, uh, bundles or stamp sets or what have you. As you can see, we just line this up. There we go. And then Put this kind of off to the side and now we'll work on our daisy pieces. And what I love about this is before I glue this down I like to lay these down just to see where these are going to go. That, that, okay that goes that way. So we're going to start out and I always like to use Tombow liquid glue just because um, you have control over the adhesive. You could use the self-adhesive sheets. However, because it's layering, I always like to allow myself that extra wiggle room on something. So we're going to see, as you can see, it's not quite lining up. I want to, there we go. And it leaves the perfect little outline for our pieces. Now this piece, I believe, it might be upside down. This is why I like to lay this out ahead of time. Is this clip here? Yes, that goes there. So I'm gonna come in with my glue. There we go. And then our small little half daisy piece here. And that makes it a lot easier so you can add some dimensionals and pop this up. So here is that and then I'm going to come in with my um, light wild wheat um, stamp and blend and just come in and add the center pieces to this. 
You can leave it white or you can color it. I chose to bring in the wild wheat and color that up and then bring in some Stampin' Dimensionals and pop these up for some dimension. And then we're just gonna come in there we go and then I'm gonna bring in a glue dot and just add that to the end of my leaf and then we're going to put that right there and then we're going to come in with the tag that comes with the dies and our moody moth wishing you the brightest birthday stamp set or sentiments and this tag fits perfectly and then we will come back in with some more dimensionals and our first card will be done. Like I said, I absolutely love this layout. It works perfectly with this um, with this bundle and then I brought in some more designer papers and as you can see I did this on the thick basic white with crushed curry and then I used lemon lolly for the center um, to give it a little bit of bright and then I used the new pebble path um, for the sentiments and then this one is in the boho blue because as you know if you know me I am a blue girl and again this is um, on thick basic white with the new boho blue isn't that pretty I absolutely love this layout this works perfectly again with this um, bundle so let's go ahead and go on to project number two. Again, we're going to showcase our brand new Lemon Lolly. And then that designer paper is in the background. But I thought I, what I would do is change things up a little bit since we have the um, white daisies and the greenery and stuff like that for the background. Um, I thought it would be fun to flip it over as you can see our designer papers are double-sided and it's so versatile. So I thought it would be fun to use this as the background. So it kind of looks like it's a blue sky. So that way you have two completely different looks, but still kind of the same concept. And again, we're showcasing one of my new favorite um, colors, Lemon Lolly, along with my new favorite in color, uh, Boho Blue. So. These two colors are so pretty together. And then we have for the dye here, we have one of my returning favorites. Thank goodness it did not retire the scallop contour dyes. And we are using the second largest scallop in basic white. And then this is where we're going to build up our flower. So we're going to stamp, die cut, and build up that flower. So let me go ahead and get all of our pieces here. So let us start off with the inside of our card just so we can get that out of the way. And again, these are panel pieces, standard panel pieces are four by five and a quarter. I pre-cut a lot of these basic whites so it's just easier for me to grab a panel piece to do the insides of my cards and since we're doing the blue we'll just go ahead and 
put the glue on this side. And this is usually a standard go-to for me on cutting the pieces. Um, pro tip, when you cut two of these on the four inch strip, you, it, you cut it down to four by five and a quarter. So that leaves you with that half inch um, strip. So that's what I usually like to do with the extra um, strip so it decorates the inside. We don't like to have any waste in our cards. So we are going to do the blue background here. And we will go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and stamp our sentiment. And since we did the blue background, I think I'm going to stamp um, my sentiment in boho blue, but I don't know if I have that in reaching. No, you know what? We're just going to keep it at the pecan pie because I don't want to, I'm attached to my mic and I don't want to make this tumbling down. So we have your friendship means everything. And let's just go ahead and stamp this. This is pecan pie. This is a great brown. Um, it's very coppery. It's great for the fall. It's great for the centerpieces, for the flowers. That's what I use for the centerpieces for my flower. And let me go ahead and show you what I did with the flowers. And as I mentioned earlier, um, this stamp set is a two two step stamp set, which will have the outline piece and center pieces. So let's go ahead and bring in the two yellows that I'm using. I'm using Daffodil Delight for my darker yellow for the outline piece. And for the inside color for my center piece, I'm using the new Lemon Lolly. So let us stamp with the outline pieces first. So we are going to stamp with that. As our outline, it's a nice bright yellow or a little bit of a darker yellow. Then I will bring in the other outline piece. And then our inside piece i usually like to do the out darker outline part first and then it's just easier to fill in um this way are we gonna line up which way which way do we have this here sometimes lining this up can be a little challenging i think this is where we go okay like to line that up just before I get the um, color on there. Come in with our lemon lolly. There we go. That's that's the angle that I want to go in at. <laughs> and there we go. We just kind of fill that in. And then come in with our other solid image. And then we're going to come in with that pecan pie again and fill in our little center pieces. We have two little centers here, a small and a large. that goes there and then come in here didn't quite line that up there we go now um, as I mentioned before the die pieces have outline pieces that go right over that and with 
as I always say with the magic of TV. I have pre-cut those pieces out for you to save us some time. And then I went ahead and cut in the lemon lolly the pieces that are going to go on top. So that is done. And then what I did here was I took a piece of green, um, garden green, and I stamped the leaves and the um, stem already ahead of time. So tone on tone, garden green on garden green. And we have all of our bits and pieces right here with the magic of TV, just to save us some time. So let us start gluing down. Now I brought in, I got these off of Amazon. Um, it's a fine tip um, holder. Now with our glue, it's a little bit thicker. So I add just a little bit of water to it and it um, doesn't make it as thick. So I just like to come in here, just a little bit goes a long way and it goes right on top of that to give us some cute floral dimension and there we go. See how that comes in? I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but it gives us great dimension and just different looks. And you could even just do stamping the image itself and not put this on top of it and it would still be just as cute and adorable. So you have so many opportunities with this suite. I love it. Okay. And then we're just going to come in here and glue this piece down. Put it right there. Kind of have it at a different angle. So just to kind of give you that option. And then I'm gonna come in with the glue dot. And again, just, I'm not gonna put any glue on the whole thing. I could. Um, but I kind of like it raised up a little bit. So I'm just coming in here with a glue dot and do a little sneak attack as my friend Kirsten likes to say. And then come in with this piece. Liquid glue is going to be your friend. I almost did that the wrong way. Liquid glue is going to be your friend on these, um, on this bundle for sure. Liquid glue and glue dots. here. Lift that up and just kind of sneak that under. I would love to hear in the comment section as you're watching my video what your new favorite or what your fa what your favorite color of a daisy is. Are you a yellow daisy person? Are you a white daisy person? Are you a Gerber daisy person? I love yellow. Yellow is my second favorite color because it means friendship. And yellow flowers mean friendship. They also mean goodbye, but they also, if you look what it represents, it represents friendship. So, and 
as a little girl, I loved yellow. I had a yellow bedroom and now blue has become my favorite color. So let us put these up. I wish I had the dimensional sheets. However, um, I ran out, so they are on a truck somewhere on their way to me. <laughs> there we go and see it gives it a completely different view it kind of looks like you have flowers in the background and I used um, the in color dots um, however I think I'm going to go ahead and use the yellow Um, adhesive gem that goes with this. I am all fingers. There's one, two, and three. There we go. There are our projects for today. I hope that you enjoyed all of these projects that I have shared with you today. I would love for you to make sure that you click that like button if you do enjoy my video. That helps me grow my channel. And if you know anyone that would like to watch my weekly lives or my um, videos, please be sure to share my channel with them. I do have a personal goal of reaching a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. I'm about a third of the way there. So I would love for you to subscribe if you have not yet subscribed to that. If you are looking for the sizes and dimensions, they will be on my blog post at cardsbytlc.com tomorrow, May 4th. And I want to thank you all for joining me today. And I hope you all have a wonderful day and a wonderful weekend. Um, I hope that it kind of warms back up here and here in Northern California. But we shall see. I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.